You know, Kendra Cuck in a victory for Underwood uh, in a close game. Kendra, thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah, we had a really good first half, and we were able to just, you know, slow down and finish the game off with a win. Yeah, and talk about that first half. You went into the locker room tied. What were you guys saying to each other in the locker room? Yeah, we knew we were playing some good offense, getting a lot of good looks, and just really we knew they had shooters, and we just had to close out on them hard. And then they're late. Uh, you were struggling at the free throw line, but you hit the one that mattered to push it to a three-point lead. What's going through your mind in those situations? Yeah, but I was just trying to you know, take my time, and um, I would have liked him to fall, but we played really good defense. What was working for you tonight offensively, especially there in that first half? You were able to get a lot of easy layups for yourself. Yeah, I was just really posting up hard and just getting a lot of good passes from the guards. And now moving on to take on a team you're pretty familiar with in trainer. What's the thoughts going into that game? Yeah, we played him before, and, you know, we know what we have to do and just play like we did, like we played tonight. Yeah, and how does winning these kind of close games like this help you guys uh, throughout the rest of this postseason? Yeah, it feels really good because, you know, we can get these wins and just really keep playing how we're playing to keep getting wins. Congratulations. And good luck next week. Thank Head you. Coach Flynn and a victory for Underwood. And, Coach, thoughts on tonight's game? Oh, man. I mean, we battled and we just stayed with it the entire time and never lost sight of the goal. Yeah, so talking about that first half, you got off to an incredible start. South O'Brien comes back, ties it at the half. What were you saying to your girls in the halftime locker room? I mean, we knew exactly what they wanted to do. They're great shooters, and we knew who wanted to drive and who wanted to shoot. So at halftime, we just kind of reiterated that, calmed our nerves down, reminded them to ignore the crowd and just play their game. Yeah, and talk about the energy here tonight. South O'Brien breeds a great crowd, but you battle-tested here on your home floor to get the win. Yeah, they were very loud, and it kind of felt like it was their home court advantage, but we figured it out. Yeah, and talk about uh, your success, especially down in that first half around the paint. You got easy buckets and created layups for yourself. Yeah, our post players have really been working hard all season. Um, they put in the time, and so it was nice to finally have a game where they got to reap the rewards. And then down there late, once again, you get up by a double-digit margin. South O'Brien comes back. How does it feel to be able to know that your girls can withstand being in close games like that and get the victory? Oh, well, this is the second game in a row this week, so it feels really good. It feels like everything that we worked hard for this season kind of is coming together at the right time. And now coming up, a team you're familiar with in trainer. What's the motivation for a pretty familiar opponent? Well, the first two games, we didn't play our best game. And, I mean, it's a crosstown rival, basically, cross-conference rival. So we're just really excited to get another shot at them. Congrats on the win, Coach. Thank you.